CT coronary calcium scoring is a screening test that can help determine if you are at increased risk of suffering a heart attack. And it's pretty much a breeze to have done. There's no pain or discomfort. It's fairly easy. There's no prep. You don't have to fast. You don't have to have an IV like with a traditional CT scan. Basically, you're having electrodes placed on your chest and you're going to lay on the table and they're passed through the CT scanner um, probably three or four times and it's going to be over in about five minutes. The CT scan recognizes if there's any calcium in the arteries. You know, calcium is good for bones, but it's not good for hearts. So if you have calcium in your heart, that just tells us that you have been building plaque and it has hardened over time and that there's a possibility that, you know, you're at risk for a heart attack. From the CT scan, a score is developed that represents the amount of calcium present in your arteries. That score is then checked against a scale that helps doctors determine what, if any, action needs to be taken. Ideally, if you have a score of zero or less than 10, and that's where you want to be. That means that you have very little plaque in your arteries. Um, if your score is between, say, 11 and 100, the doctor knows that you need to be treated with aspirin at least daily and look at other risk factors. If your score is greater than 400, that tells us that you definitely have some um, plaque buildup going on and perhaps you need a stress test or a heart cath to see what's going on. 59-year-old Terry Ellis had a CT coronary calcium scoring test done several months ago. And though he was not experiencing any cardiac symptoms at the time, it's a good thing he had it done then. Well, my score, I believe to the best of my knowledge, was about 1,400 uh, range, and anything above 400 is a very high level for suspected cardiac disease. They told me and said that they would like to get me in for a, a heart catheterization as soon as possible because my score was so high and uh, my score was so high that actually my family physician called me that evening at home and said that uh, he wouldn't be surprised if I wouldn't need open heart surgery, uh, that it looked that bad on the calcium CT scan. Two days later, Terry had a heart catheterization at St. Mary's that confirmed a serious problem and allowed the cardiologist to fix it right then and there. Uh, actually, I had three vessel disease, uh, severe disease throughout, but they were able to put a stent into my arteries and keep me from having open heart surgery. Patients who have had stents inserted or who have had open heart surgery are not candidates for CT coronary calcium scoring, since it's already clear that those patients have heart disease. But people with certain cardiac risk factors are good candidates. If you have a moderate risk of heart disease, if you have high blood pressure, you're diabetic, if you smoke, if you have high cholesterol or have a high level of stress, uh, those are risk factors we want to encourage you to think about having a scan. Uh, men over 45, women over 55. Now, if you have a family history in a first degree relative, that is mom, dad, brothers, or sisters, that puts you at increased risk for having heart disease. So if you have one of those relatives who's had a MI or had to have stents or open heart, then you should consider having the test also. Unfortunately, since CT coronary calcium scoring is a screening test, most insurances won't pay for it. But as a service to the community, St. Mary's has made it very affordable. So it is a low cost test, $75. And, um, you know, it's well worth it for peace of mind if you, if you kind of wonder where you stand cardiac wise. Well, I believe the test actually has probably saved my life because it, at the very least, probably prevented me from having a heart attack or at some point dropping dead from a heart attack. For more information or to schedule your screening, call 304-526-8339.